Oh, praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. How y'all doing this morning? Hope all is well out there. Today we're going to go over chapter, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 6, and we'll start at 17. And it says, Ye shall not go after other gods of the gods of the people which are round about you. Okay? So in America, we're, uh, we're around the different, around a lot of different nationalities and cultures. So, um, so the people that we surrounded around, we shouldn't be falling after their customs. Actually, they should be falling after us and our God and power because He's the one and only true living power. Our other gods are false or idols. Uh, so He said that you should not go after other gods. And the word God means power. So we shouldn't go after other powers. You know, we have uh, we have a, a power. And our power is the, the one true power of our power, of our idols, gods, or whatever. So he said, for the Lord, thy God, is a jealous God among you. Let the anger of the Lord thy God be kindled against thee and destroy thee from off the face of the earth. So we don't want to tempt, we don't want to make the Most High mad. We don't want to make him jealous because he don't want us worshiping uh, other idols or other gods. He want us to uh, worship him and his truth and only. He uh, said, ye shall not tempt the Lord. Your power. See, the word God means power. So you, sh you shouldn't tempt your power. That's why he tell us not to follow after the other people, gods that's around us. So in America, we're still under the captivities of Esau, the so-called white man. So he say, do not follow after their gods. You see, and that's what the children of Israel do. We follow after our enemy God instead of following after our true power. So that's why the Most High is alone so much corruption and evil to take place in our lives because we his chosen people out of all people he chose us he didn't choose all nations of people only the children of israel he chose okay so we are the light keepers and of of all nations okay all people supposed to look up to to us the so-called black man and worship our power and our god okay because we are the little gods on the earth okay so it says, uh, "Ye shall digitally, di digitally keep the commandments of the Lord your God and His testimonies and His statutes, which He commanded thee. And thou shalt do that which is right and good in the sight of the Lord, that it may be well with thee, and that thou mayest go in and possess the good land which the Lord swore unto thy fathers." Okay. So as long as we're doing what's right in the sight of the Most High, He's gonna uh, He's gonna bless us, and He's gonna He's gonna do uh, what we expect, right? So a lot of times we uh, we go through things and don't really know why it's happening, you know. But it's it's because we're simply going off by not keeping the Most High words and statutes, you know. Even in the scriptures, it tell us about the dietary codes, certain foods we uh, we supposed to eat, okay? So, and here in America, uh, let's just say the world. You know, Satan has control over the world, right? So whatever God say don't do, Satan say do. Whichever, you know, so good is evil, evil is good to Satan. So when Satan say eating shrimp, lobster, crabs is okay, it said you look at a certain way or being on a high standard of certain people because just because you can afford these types of food. Well, God say don't eat that shit. You see? But the devil say eat it. So this is why we suffer with so many diseases in our life. You know, high blood pressure, gout, all these things that we go through because we simply not following the words of the Most High. We simply living after the world, which the Most High Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah gave power to the devil until he get back to show his strength. So we got to come back to the truth.
come back to the most high in his word and his truth. And uh, that way we can get back in good standards with the most high as a people. The Lord deal with us as individuals and he deal with us as a nation of people. Okay. So as a nation of people, all his people are uh, being disobedient to him. Okay. So this is why the scriptures no problem, no problem. tell us certain things. Okay. So uh, we're going to jump down to 25 and it say, it shall be our righteousness if we observe to do all these commandments before the Lord, our power, God, and he had that he had commanded us, you see. So, and that's why the scriptures say his words are not grievous. They're not hard to do. It's simple. It's simple little things that the most I want us to do, but we don't do it because we don't know. And we work running after the world that Satan has control over. Okay. So I wanted to share that with you guys this morning. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the, hit the notification button if you haven't. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I'll be back with the next one. Peace.